Don't shoot him. We need him alive. Oh, God damn it. I said hands. All right. All right. Just, just tell me what you want. Okay. All right. He's clean. We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. All the dead people outside, Jim. You know, the ones you shot in the head? I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, what was it, Helm? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here? You didn't want that, did you? We just couldn't take the risk. Get up. Wait, wait, wait. I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. you're doing thank you Jim yes we know what we're doing you don't have to do this let me go I'm sorry we just can't take the risk <sighs> come on I want to get the hell out of here Ouch. It's all true. I didn't want to believe it. What are you talking about? God, this is my fault. I should have seen it when it first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grape root here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay. Who's, who's David? Sorry. David Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're... we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone then he didn't listen he hacked the system he got behind the firewall he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something I don't classified know. project just he slow wanted, down and he wanted to be the next Edward Snowden you see he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing David Gorman exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit and I didn't listen to him Deacon I told him that he was being paranoid and he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here well, I, don't, I don't understand what do you mean I pieced it together in myself a little while later the night that I was stabbed I, I went to the Cloverdale office in the farewell and I went to, to go try and find David but he was already gone He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He, he must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. Oh my God. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could understand. You have it's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> Uh, hold on for a second. What's up? Uh, 
the electric fences. How would I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a building by the greenhouse is why. Okay. Um, it's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. <sighs> you think we could load that up? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, I'm gonna be right there. Okay. Burn, you little bastards. I just gotta jimmy that door. No time, no time. Got it. Boozer, it's, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp. Is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? Yeah, Boozer, it's me. Hey, it is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't... I got a lot of time. Uh, the, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the Ripper... You know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food, corn, so tell Ricky, tell Iron my tone to send someone. Wait, you found her? What, you found Sarah? Yeah, I found her. Booze, man, I found her. That is <laughs> awesome, Dick! When are you bringing her back, what, to Lost Lake? No, I'm not gonna get into that right now. Dick? Yeah. Tell her. Be safe, okay? Be safe. Boozer. Boozer, Boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Ah, damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good. Listen up. Uh, Deep? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a. I don't think we'd hear from you again. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this... Did you find her? <sighs> yeah, yeah, I found her. <sighs> Ricky? I'm glad, Deke. You were right. We made it. I'm glad she did, too. Deke? Yeah, okay, listen, there's this farm, okay? Uh, there's uh, power. It's got electrical fences. Electric fences, okay. And if you come here... It, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work. Uh, by Iron Butte, he's gonna know the place. You come over here, you're gonna find food. You're gonna find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Oh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good, good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made head of security. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um, <laughs> could you tell... You know what? Listen, I gotta go, Ricky. But, you know what? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Ah, uh, that thing you said about, uh, lighting the candle. I think maybe you were right. I know. Ricky out. Bye, Ricky. St. John, this is Curry. Where are you? One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielson Pass. 
Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, um... It's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was where... And this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel wants to know why you're not back yet. Tell him, uh, tell him... Did, uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told him that you're fine and we're fine and that uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. What do you think? I don't know. It doesn't look good. But it's worth a try, so uh, let's get moving. <laughs> It's clear. Are you gonna come out and eat something? Soaking wet. I never thought I'd get warm again. Carter. Did you want to eat something or? Yeah. Yeah. God, I'm not even hungry. Yeah, neither am I. You call me. Come here. Come here. Yo, what tartum?
Ah, come on me. <clears throat> Van nekünk képesség pontunk. Gyorsan beírja, növeli az a... Következő meg már. St. John, come in. This is Corporal St. John. Uh, what's up, Captain? We need you to head back to command. Stat. Meet me at the infirmary. The infirmary? What's wrong? There's been an incident. I'm on my way. Okay, what the hell? Uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, uh, are you there? Damn it, Sarah? Come in, Sarah. Oh, God damn it. You what is that Hey, you're not supposed to be here. Go. Hey, what's going on? Captain? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. Oh, Captain. I'm a son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. Slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. Taylor. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. I don't know I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? It doesn't matter. Hallgassuk meg megint a százados. Ezredesnek. Szerintem most ez azon. This day, as the sun sets on this island. It also sets on the life of a great man. Captain Arturo Jimenez. Doc, to many of you, is gone. Taken from us on the eve of our great victory. Captain Jimenez was murdered. Slaughtered. His life ripped from him. His blood, even now, soaks the tent where he toiled. Hour after hour. Tending our sick, our injured, our wounded. The great tragedy here is not that a good man needlessly lost his life. Though for that I am indeed very sorry. The great tragedy here is that he could not be replaced. Dr. Jimenez was the only trained physician in our ranks. Perhaps in all the world. My eyes have been opened. I see now the great mistake we have made. We have filled our ark with books and seeds and discs. Medical journals, medical books and encyclopedia we have in spades. But who now, when this terrible war is over, will teach us how to use them? Journals can be replaced. Books and encyclopedia can be replaced. Dr. Jimenez, our only doctor, cannot be replaced. I go now to grieve in private. I suggest you do the same. Company dismissed.
Ага. Captain Curry, come in. Corporal St. John and Captain Curry. This is Curry. Hey, uh, I'm gonna go after Taylor. Several patrols have already been sent out. Oh, are those furious? Yeah, I'll bet. Doctor's a good guy. Captain Inventors was the only doctor we had. Boy, Taylor mentioned something about heading up to the ski lodge. I'm gonna go there and see what Radio me if you do. Copy that. Send John out. St. John, come in. This is Captain Corey. I've got a job for you. Captain Corey, um, hit the Diamond Lake out close time soon? Copy that. Security Council. Think about it. Nero's got a clear hand in this, but they need a lot of help to start this war. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Who knows, Cope, maybe you're right for a change. If you had any idea what they were cooking up inside Cloverdale in your goddamn backyard, you'd have a heart attack. What's that, my dog? Kurva, az meg rossz helyen vagyok. De nem. Ide küldött. Yep. 
I hope this is high enough. Boozer, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp, is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? I can barely hear you. You're, you're cutting out. Where the hell are you? Crater Lake, uh, believe it or not. Hey, uh, I, I... It's good to hear from you again, brother. I thought maybe, uh, thought maybe you were heading back. Uh, no, Boozer, not yet. It's, uh, it, it's complicated. Look, uh, I'm just... I'm just sort of checking in to see how, you know, how everything's going. Good, good, Deke. Things are going good. You'll never guess who the old man put in charge of security. Wait, you? Yeah, you got it. I guess you figured, you know, with only one arm, I can only cause half as much trouble. Okay, yeah, like I said, I just, I just wanted to check in. Yeah, it was good to hear from you, brother. Yeah, you too. Heal. Na, megvan az új képesség van. Jó, megvan az új képesség pont, úgyhogy le tudunk fejleszteni. Egy kis... Jó. Mégse. Az volt, nem? Motorjai közben? Az meg nem az volt. Ó, oh, bazd meg, elbasztam. Nem az volt. Egy fertőzésnek annyi.
key. Let's take a look around. All right, what have we got? <laughs> Still got this. I gotta find a way inside. Come on, come on, come on. Okay.
Taylor. <laughs> Deacon St. John. How are we doing, Taylor? That fucked up, man. They didn't mean to kill him, man. He wasn't supposed to be there. I... <laughs> Doc was a good guy, man. He fucking, he fucking helped me. He helped me. Come on, get up. No. I don't want to hang, man. <laughs> I don't want to hang. I don't want to hang. I can't. I don't wanna... Hey, listen to me, you, Taylor. You, Taylor. You kick and you kick Wade. and you shit yourself, all those fucks standing at attention, and they're laughing at you, man. They're laughing at you. I don't wanna... I don't wanna... Please. Don't let them... St. John, in here. Overdose. God damn it. Bring the body outside. I don't care what a man's done. We never leave him for the freaks. Well, when we found him, he was already dead. Overdosed. We recovered most of the drugs, not all. As if the world hasn't seen enough corruption and decay. As if the world isn't already filled to overflowing with mindless, soulless creatures. Take these to the infirmary. And this time... Assign someone who isn't a goddamn junkie. Yes, sir. Corporal St. J. Hey, D, I got a question for you. What the hell's an East Coast City boy doing all the way the hell out here? Actually, yeah. I uh, served with a guy from Long Island. Accent's kind of hard to miss. No shit, right? Let me tell you, man. Before shit went down, I used to run this website called You Need Guns? I Got Guns.com. Oh, Jesus. Holy shit. That's where I've seen you before. You had a. You had a cable show. Uh, my old man used to watch it back in the day. Yeah, your old man had good taste. Goddamn right I did. I used to travel the car. See ya, Corporal. Deacon, are you there? Deacon and Sarah need to talk to you. 
Uh, yeah, hey, I'm here. You sound kind of cheerful. I've had a breakthrough. Look, all I needed was that DNA sequencer. I'm ready to test it. Deacon, I'm ready to test my serum. Wow, okay. Um, what do you need from me? I'll tell you when you get here. Sarah, out. Yo, my young Sarah, who's? Hey, you're not supposed to be here. Wait, hold up. You want one alive? Oh, kind of hard to run tests on something dead. Here. What, what is that? It's a special tranquilizer. It'll help you knock it out long enough so you can bring it back here. I'm so close, Deacon. This could be it. Taky na hozmi a dízis. Porčot. Deacon, come in. Hey, I was just heading out to find you a nude. Great. Okay, there's a specific one that I need. All right. Oh wait, hold on for a second. A specific nude? South of here, just off Rim Drive, is an old resort cabin. It's now home to an entire colony of infected kids. Nudes. Okay. Okay, so radio me when you get there. Sarah, out. <laughs> colony of nudes. So, get on this. I gotta see. St. John, report. Hey, Captain. I'm on a run for Lieutenant Whitaker, so I'm kind of busy at the moment. Understood. Report to me when you're finished. We're ready to test Beaver's weapon. Hurry up. Nah, nah, nah. Fine. Guns. Hey, I was just heading out to find you a new. Great. Okay, there's a specific one that I need, all right? Oh wait, hold on for a second. A specific newt? South of here, just off Rim Drive, is an old resort cabin. It's now home to an entire colony of infected kids. Newts. Okay. Okay, so radio me when you get there. Sarah, out. <laughs> colony of newts. Oh my god, this I gotta see. St. John, report. Hey, Captain. I'm on a run for Lieutenant Whitaker, so I'm kind of busy at the moment. Understood. Report to me when you're finished. We're ready to test Beaver's weapon. Hurry up. Shit. Oh, so much for Sarah beating Weaver to the finish line. Sir, I'm here. All right, you're looking for a young female wearing a red shirt. One of those kids' shirts that says, like, Teensy Tabby or something. I'm surprised the Colonel hasn't burned this place out yet. I told Matt the site was hands-off. I've been running blood tests on several of the youngest ones for months. I need them for the serum. I'm okay. Uh, how am I supposed to get the one that you want without killing the rest? Look, I don't know, just... Just do what you have to do, okay? I need the female wearing the red shirt.
partaj de asta Fakt, itt van egy Nero központ. Got you, little shit. Oh, Jesus. No. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ! Uh, hey, Captain. Uh, pistol over my bike. Uh, yeah, the Colonel doesn't allow for pets on the island. I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, Lieutenant needed a live test subject. Uh, you two seem to be getting along well. You and Lieutenant Whitaker. Just doing my job, sir. Oh, keep it professional, Corporal. The colonel doesn't allow for fraternization between enlisted men and officers. Oh, no, no. I can't have any of that, sir. Right. Carry on. Yes, sir. <coughs> okay. <sighs> Come on, help me! Come on! Come on. <laughs> Yeah, well, their biology's kind of fucked right now. What do you want me to do? I can't get the right dosage. Here, hold on, hold on. This is what I've been working on. How long? Hold on, just a few seconds. I don't know what you put in that. That shit went down fast. God damn it!
you, you're, you're not making a bioweapon, you're... Oh my god, are you, are you, are you trying to cure him? I thought that once I got the original cell line from Cloverdale that I could create antibodies for the virus and I could reverse engineer it. Jesus. And now all of that work, everything that I have worked on is for nothing. Save them. Nothing's gonna be able to change them back. So get up, dust yourself off. I'll try again. Are you not seeing what just happened? Every cell in that kid's body just exploded. That's exactly why you can't quit. What? Because you called it a kid. Do you have any idea how many of these things that I've killed? And it never once occurred to me, you know what, that used to be someone's kid. You know, I met this girl once, and she used to talk about the freakers the same way you do. She used to call them sick people. I thought that was crazy, but she looks at them the same way you do. So you think I'm crazy? No, no. I think you're the first sane person I've seen in two years. You know, I still remember the night that I lost you, but I'm starting to realize it wasn't the night that I had left you on that chopper. It was the next night. <sighs> Me and Boozer, we rode into that refugee camp that you were supposed to be waiting at, right? Except there's freakers everywhere. The choppers are on fire. There's people screaming, so many people. And so we fought, and we won, and what did we get? Bodies. Bodies everywhere. And I checked every corpse, every face. There must have been a thousand of them, maybe more. I checked every single one. That was the night that I lost. And Boozer, Boozer, you know, he's, he's just, he was just trying to keep me together for the next two years. But I didn't give a shit about any of it. And then I see this Nero chopper flying around in the sky and I start to feel something. I'm thinking, you know what? Fuck you, fuck you. Because even if she is alive, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna find her, we're gonna ride away, we're never gonna look back, because I don't wanna be part of some militia. I don't wanna fight no war, and I don't wanna live in some camp. So why are you still here? Because of you. All of this, seeing how hard you work, seeing how dedicated you are. Most people out there are just trying to survive, and here you are. Trying to save the goddamn world. Yeah, well, I'm not doing a very good job. So you get up. You dust yourself off, and you try again. We're going back to Cloverdale. They get better equipment. We're going to dig into their research deeper. If you would do that, you would help me. Yeah, I would. I would because you believe in this. North. Yeah, we're riding north. We'll, we'll tell them that we're going on a supply run. Yeah, but we're not coming back. No, we're gonna go AWOL. We know if they catch us, they will hang us. Then we hang together. Ma'am? <clears throat> yeah. Deke, Colonel wants to see you. Be right there. Pack up what you need. I'll be back. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Corporal St. John. Colonel, sir. Come with me, please. Are we ready? Colonel, sir. Yes, sir. That shit is locked and loaded. Oh, bike's already loaded, sir. I'm not sure if I understand. Lieutenant Weaver's weapon is finished. We're ready to test it. Hell yeah. Are you ready to burn down a horde? Oh. Something wrong? Was no, no, sir. No, no, no. Um, hell yeah. Let's get this done. All right. Hey, Gentlemen. Gentlemen. 
This is the start of a new era. Carry on. Chor that guy, Kitchen. Lieutenant Weaver, with me. Yes, sir. I figured that I think we should... you should stay up here and let me do this alone. What the fuck? You got a death wish? No. That's why I think I should go in alone. Look, even with Weaver's jacked up Molotovs, we can't take an entire horde all at once. No. So, uh... All right, I figure I go down there. I get their attention. I pull off a few at a time, and then I run like hell. And I gotta find some way to slow them down, maybe. 